everybody welcome to my channel this is Sarah plans I am Sarah hello so today I'm just gonna do a quick rundown on how I use my 18 month petite planner um, I absolutely love this thing and it is a godsend on so many so many occasions um, first let's just check out the size difference this is my daily duo um, same as a life planner a horizontal, hourly, whatever. Um, they're the same size, seven by nine. I don't even know how big this thing is, but you can see the difference. Um, knowing how us planner girls and boys are, um, throwing a planner into your bag is not always as simple as just that. It has to fit, it has to be safe. It can't have anything happen to it. And you can see the immediate size difference here. Um, look at the thickness. Throwing this into my purse and my bag that I'm carrying is a lot different than throwing this in. Now, I'm not saying that I don't ever bring this with me, but there are times where I'm on the go and this is what is convenient. Um, it's what I need too. I mean, if I'm taking, if, like I'm taking my planner with me because I'm gonna plan or I have some things to do and I need to really check my schedule because you know, my schedule is, is in here and what I do during the day is in here. So it makes a difference whether or not I have this if I'm looking to go through my schedule. But when it comes to this bad boy, this is my on the go forward planning, um, just jot it down when, I might need stickers for this, but all I need for this is this and this and I'm good. So let's check it out. In the summer surprise box, you've got these covers, um, which are freaking awesome. This one has glitter on it. Uh, they're on sale on the website. I will link it below, so check that out. If you shop from that link, I get, uh, I get a little kickback from it. So please do. I'm an Erin Condren affiliate, and um, you know, when you use my personal link, I get a little bit, and I appreciate when you do. So there's this one, and then there's also a blue one. I can't tell you what made them pick glitter or blue, but that is the case. So here we are, 18 months. Let me just talk about the design. It's mid-century circles and I'm absolutely in love. I, I think that this right here was what made me fall in love with it because of the difference. We have the beautiful gold, okay? Some are filled in, some aren't, love that. And then you open it up to the colors, I mean, they're all the Erin Condren colors and they're gorgeous. And just the way they're done speaks to me. So our monthly planner, which means there's no individual day or week pages. Now, when we get to this year at a glance, um, this is huge for me. I have gone ahead and matched it to my life planner, as you can see. So what I did was I basically used as close as I could get the same colors. So um, I know what I'm looking at all the time. My half days are the same, my no schools are the same, and then any birthdays and stuff and anything else. Erin Condren has these stickers, um, but when I had these, there was no gold matching circle. So what I did was I just took my stencil and I used my gold pen and just circled it so that it is goes exactly the same um so i know what i'm looking at they both match and that's big for me the other thing i'll have here is my half day schedule for my kids and the delayed opening schedule for my kids here's a problem folks they're different three are now in one school and one is in a different school and they run on different time schedules which is really awesome for parents like me but I don't know about you. I don't always remember the exact times. Um, their delayed opening schedule is different. One goes by 90 minutes delay. The other one is 60 minutes. They start at different times. They end at different times. It's freaking ridiculous. So half day schedule, same thing. Um, last year they were in three different schools. So that made it so that I needed to have three different half day schedules here. Awesome. So you can understand where I get a little bit confused. It goes right into the month. Um, you have the monthly Erin Condren colors up at the top of all of them, which I think it's like just enough color. It's not overwhelming. It's not underwhelming. It's, I love it. 
So in this, I literally just write everything and I don't care. I don't care what it says. I don't care if it's scribbled. It doesn't matter because it is a way for me to just jot things down and know what's going on. So we have a viewing and I'm going to need to know that it's two to four and seven to nine. I'm gonna just write the 20th um, because that's, that's how it's gonna work for me. Um, a lot of times I will take and like write a line here so that I know like these, anything that's scribbled in here is for this week. Um, I also white these dates out here. Um, and then if I run out of room to write, I can just use these. Sometimes I'll even put washi, but I'm kind of refusing to buy stickers for this because this is my on the go bad boy and I don't need to. So just a little glance so you can see the colors. And then we go into the dot grid. So, all your months in the front and dot grid is basically, cause here's the, I think this is the middle right here. Um, but it's basically the other half of the planner, which I love. I love dot grid. My handwriting is sexy as hell in dot grid. And yeah, that makes me happy. So the other thing is, is I'm constantly on the prowl for good credit. So I've been paying my bills ever since my divorce. I've been paying my bills like a champion. Um, I have gotten it together. That bad boy goes up a couple points pretty regularly. So what I have done is I have taken some old planner Kate's side, you know, down the side, washi, written all my bills down. I have the dates that they're due, the amount that I pay and the date that I paid them and the balance that remains. This page sucks because I had a plan, but then I wasn't really feeling it. Um, it's not something that I track, although I need to. If I'm going to track this, it needs to be in a different way because this just wasn't how I wanted it to be. Plus, it would have eaten up this entire thing. Like it seriously would have taken me like to the end there. And I didn't want that either. I didn't want it to be a budget planner. I want this to be a catch all and be able to have everything in this. And if I had taken these pages and kept going with it, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So what I did was I just have one for each month. Okay, that's it. Um, I put the washi down. I had month stickers that I already bought. But as you can see, like I have a, a furniture that my husband and I purchased that has two different promos with it. Um, the buffet is a six month promo, no interest, and then the table is a 12 month, no interest. So what ended up happening was I found the end date, I put it in here because I don't wanna pay interest on it, I wanna pay it off. So instead of having to look it up all the time, I'm able to just know that by November 1st, this sucker has to be paid off or I'm gonna pay all of the interest. Um, and that's that. So as you can clearly tell, I put these little tabs on the sides so that I can just flip right to them. Um, there's my table promo. I can forward plan with my bills. If I know I wanna have a bill paid off in March, then I know I can do it. Um, what I'm going to do is, is keep filling in. Um, I'm gonna take my yellow from August and I'm going to a yellow marker, let's see. So I'm just gonna take this and, let's see, how many dots over? One, two, one, two, three, four. So I did the fourth dot over. So one, two, three, four, here we go. So we wrote everything, date due, bill name, amount due, amount paid, date paid, and balance. So I got the side tabs on there and you know I'm able to forward plan so that I can know when those things need to be paid off, which is awesome. Now I have, which is pretty awesome I think, the EC sale and event schedule because we're always looking for that, right? I have the colors that match the months in mild liner, dual tips, and what the names are for the months. Then my favorite shops and codes, because Lord knows we are all 
in the car half the time and half the time I'm shopping. So I have all my codes because they're at my fingertips. But then in here with these blank pages, what I plan on doing here is posting a schedule. Um, my son's football schedule, I'll print it out and glue it down. Print out Mom, Bella's field hockey schedule, Keely's volleyball schedule, because it's so much easier to have it printed out and at a glance, being able to see all the dates lined up. Um, and then hopefully that'll keep going as we go into other sports. I'm missing my sports right now, guys, really, really bad. So then, at a glance, dentists and doctors' addresses, because for the, for the entire time my kids needed forms filled out, I've always had to like look it up. I don't know what, where the address is. It's in my phone, and it's made it so much easier that I can pull this thing out, get all the information, and have everything at a glance, because what I have now are the kids have individual pages. So Jack has his, um, I'll have his student ID, um, his guidance counselor, contact information, and anything that goes on during the school year, I'll have it in here. And it's a great reference point. So the kids all have that. Um, Joey's gonna go to a new school this year, so it makes a difference. Like I'll have to have his teachers and write down his schedule and that kind of stuff for him. Um, the nurse. Then we have super important stuff, guys physicals you and I both know that you have to look them up all the time right yeah well not me because I keep them right here I even just scheduled their physicals and wrote them down the other thing I do is so often I get asked their last dental visit so what I do is I write their names and then I just write their dental visit in pencil and then I just erase it when we get a new one um, I often need to know the dates of my job when did I start somewhere and there you go. My soberversary, I like to see that. It's always a good date to put there. Now, that's pretty much the end. Um, now, and what, what I do with these pages, these two and this, is I often will like glue something down, like a schedule, um, a printout of from the school, just anything, because I don't utilize these pages, so I use the space that they are there while like trying to keep as many dot grid pages as I can. Um, back here, there are stickers, like these are, I just had in there, but this page comes with. Um, I don't use them a ton just because um, there's only one for each month that matches the Anaconda colors in the months, and that doesn't really work for me too much. These two, I even went and I used these <laughs> in, my, in my duo, so I didn't even use them in this. Um, but... I leave them in here because maybe I will. I mean, but come on, you see, I'm not going shopping one time a month. I'm not watching one TV show a month, you know what I mean? But it's got this great pocket, which is just accentuated by the pocket created by the cover. So that's why I had these in here. I was just meaning to show you how you can just slip a piece of paper in there and it's nice because you can still see the whole thing. Um, I will end up having my work schedule here. Um, I don't have a traditional work schedule because I'm a fitness instructor, so I'm all over the place. Like on Monday, I'm in here. Tuesday, I'm at this one and this one. And it, oftentimes I need to see it at a glance to be able to um, quick answer somebody if they have a sub, like they need a sub, I could jump in because I'll be fine on Wednesday, I'm only here, blah, blah, blah. So, um, they, adding the cover to it is huge. I mean, not only does it make it super durable, it just gives me that like extra storage there in the front and it's so cute. All right, guys. So hopefully you like this. Um, with the addition of the tabs on the side that came from the month, the, the summer surprise box, I was able to, you know, give the, at a glance, like grab it and go. Um, I'm not gonna put them on the months, but uh, putting it on the budget months was huge help for me, so I can just flip right two things. I did put a couple back here so that I can just grab and go back there too. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if, do you have an 18 month? Like how do you use it? I love to get ideas from everybody and and make it as useful as it possibly can because this thing is like a hidden gem. 
Um, so definitely hit subscribe if you liked it and hit that notification bell over there. Click it and hit all so that you'll get notified whenever I post a video. Um, and also I have a pretty cool Instagram. I think it's cool at least. Um, and the link is down below along with the affiliate links for the planner, the cover, and the markers that I use. Um, I'll put some Planner Kate stuff in there as well. Guys, have an awesome day. Peace.